Hello and welcome to this newest YouTube video. We're talking about our graphic organizer here for your synthesis essay. And if you happen to miss class, maybe you're watching this video because you just want to get caught up on, uh, on what you missed. So let's get right to it. Um, your graphic organizer is like a map for your paper, okay? You look at the information that I have on the screen right here. It's a brief outline for your paper. It does not need to be in complete sentences. As a matter of fact, uh, you might just have a, a smaller fragment there. So um, you can be brief on this one. Your full paper is gonna have all the sentences. And then when you, uh, you look at the top here, you, some of you are going to be writing a little bit more or less than others. It depends on what your, uh, your speed is. You probably know where you're at, whether you're going to be doing two or three body paragraphs. Um, but if you are curious about that, I would be happy to tell you. So the graphic organizer starts off with your introduction. Hook right here. Give me, talk about this. How are you going to hook me in? How are you going to make me want to read more? Maybe it's a question. Maybe it's an interesting fact or something or a short story about your topic. That is the, the first thing you're going to put there. Then your thesis. Your thesis is one sentence which sums up what you're going to write about. Okay. What are you trying to prove? Uh, whatever that is, that, that sentence goes right there. Okay. Then you get to the body. Okay. Your first body paragraph is right here for claim number one. Hey, what's your first argument that you, you want to, to prove your thesis to be true? What's your first argument going to be? Then, down here, this is going to be your evidence and commentary. This is all the stuff you get from the articles that you have read on ProCon.org. And you're going to write that evidence and commentary down there. Then you got number two, your second argument. This is a whole new paragraph. What's well, another argument that you can prove your point with? You're going to put that argument right there. And then some more detail from evidence and commentary that you're going to write about that second argument. Then the third argument is going to be what we call a refutation. Okay. Now a refutation means it goes against your point that you're trying to prove. So you would go against it. And then down here in the evidence and commentary, you would make that argument look silly. You would blow it up with a grenade. Okay, finally, down here, you have your last paragraph, the conclusion. Restated thesis, all you do here is you say the same thing that you said at the top in your thesis statement in different words, okay? And finally, if you can think of a powerful closing thought to, uh, to wrap up your essay, this is like usually a typically a short, powerful sentence that just hammers in your points. So what I want to do is pull up my example, okay? I wrote a essay that you can actually find on Google Classroom. And this is actually what, uh, what, I, what I put here for my outline on my, my organizer here. My hook, I told a story about people laughing at my flip phone. <laughs> yes, I did just admit that I still have a flip phone. It's pathetic, I know. Okay, you can read it on Google Classroom. The thesis is right here. Hey, ditch your smartphone for a flip phone. Are you kidding me? That is what I'm trying to prove. Well, hey, I got some reasons here. Claim number one, smartphones are expensive. And as you notice down here, you notice that I'm not using complete sentences, but these are the reasons why smartphones are expensive, okay? There's the prices, flip phones are half the cost, no monthly fees, spend money elsewhere. That's all that I'm writing about there. Claim number two, you get longer battery life. Hey, down here, my evidence proves it. And uh, you guys can read that. I'm not going to read that to you. Finally, the refutation. Let's point this one out specifically because it goes against my argument by saying, hey, internet access 24-7 on smartphones is good, but it also is too much temptation to suck time away from friends and family. So this is my reasoning down there. You know, it disconnects people. Parents need to engage more. Um, with their kids and teens text too much. <laughs> okay, finally my conclusion. Smartphones are not needed. That's restated my thesis above. And then finally, my powerful closing thought, hey, I put flip phoners, we'll get the last laugh. 
So I hope this helped you guys come up with a little bit of an idea. You are going to turn this graphic organizer in for your points. So find, figure it out, map out your paper, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time writing down your ideas for your synthesis essay. This is Mr. Daniel signing off. Thank you so much for listening to me on YouTube.